Sunday, April 24, 2022, dawned as a bright and sunny morning in Clewiston, Florida. I was fortunate enough to have purchased a single-day passage on board Abraco's Sugarland Express. Today's schedule has the train departing the South Central Florida Express offices in Clewiston, destined for a round trip out to the Diamond at Marcy. Marcy is the point where the FECK branch crosses the former seaboard, now CSX tracks, between Indiantown and Okeechobee, Florida. Step one was for the crew to attach the USS C-148 locomotive to the head end of the Africo train. Stop number one was the bridge over the Miami Canal, where we were able to detrain and the crew did a photo run by. Knowing that this exact locomotive has worked sugarcane trains on these exact tracks from the 1950s until the 1970s adds a special significance to these sights and sounds. Next, I walked the length of the train to put myself in U.S. Sugar's restored baggage car, positioned immediately behind the tender. While you can hear the sounds of the 148, you'll have to imagine the smell and the cool mist of the steam I felt while shooting this as we traveled north along the Herbert Hoover Dyke that encircles Lake Okeechobee.
We're now approaching one of the most unique features of this line, the lift bridge over the St. Lucie Waterway at Fort Mayaka. This bridge was built in 1925 and when raised provides over 48 feet of vertical clearance over the water. The bridge is normally manually operated by the train crew, but it had been lowered prior to our special train's arrival. Once across, we were treated to the second run-by of the day.
My host car for this excursion was the historic Pennsylvania Railroad Francis L. Souter PRR 7503. The PRR 7503 was built by Pullman in 1914 as a business car for the Pennsylvania Railroad, making it the oldest operating private car in the United States. The car retains many of its original features, including the Pullman-installed working wood-burning fireplace and marble countertops. The car has been rebuilt to modern safety standards and certified by Amtrak for 110 miles per hour service. This was my first private rail car excursion, and it couldn't have been better. I owe a special debt of gratitude to the car's owners, Dick and Kathy Stewart. Dick and Kathy, along with daughter Renee, made me feel completely welcomed and even served us a delicious lunch of chicken marsala cooked on board as we traversed the rails. If you'd like more information, be sure to head over to their website at privaterailcharters.com.